In this session, we will look at how to protect an application. For our example, how to protect a VMware VM. On the desktop's dashboard, we see that there are two discovered but unprotected applications displayed in the Applications widget. By double-clicking on this entry, we are brought to the Application Manager screen with the VM tab selected, as well as unprotected from the drop-down list. We begin our protection by selecting the application that we wish to protect. We then select the appropriate SLA template for this particular application, as well as the resource profile. We are now ready to enable protection by clicking the Protect button. Protection will begin based upon the SLA that was chosen. By hovering over the Production to Snapshot green arrow, we see that this protection will begin during the windows of 1900 to 700 hours, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Since the current time is outside of the window, the job will be queued along with other jobs scheduled to be protected when this window opens. By going to the system monitor screen, we can see the two jobs are queued and will take place when the window opens. Let's go in and protect another application. Again, we will select an SLA template and profile and enable protection by clicking the Protect button. Notice that this particular one runs between the hours of midnight and 2359. Since the current time is within this window, then that means the initial ingest of this application will begin as soon as a job slot becomes available. We can see that by going to the System Monitor, Here we can see for this particular job, the snapshot has already begun, the dedupe and remote dedupe are queued to follow. We can also go to the dashboard and monitor its results. Here we see that there's currently one job running, and by hovering over the job status history, we can see that it's currently at 3%. So now we see that the snapshot job has completed, and the system has gone on now to do its dedupe. This is the normal progression. We can see the job listed as successful, and it will go through the remaining steps, doing the dedupe and eventually the remote dedupe. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for another YouTube Tech Tip video. If you like the content you're seeing on this channel, please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you will be alerted to any future content.